Here we are at the Northwest Gold Show, getting ready to do our demonstration with our gold. Setting up with Tom over there, hiding. His wife, the Tom's booth. Got people lined up, ready to come in. Bill. Got. Awesome high baker from Tom for people to look at. That is just too sexy. And we got this other one. That's all we need. Tom's dog is a beast eater. We are ready to go. Hey, mister. Hey, how are we doing, man? Great. Alright. Each one of these, there's a gram of Oregon Beach Gold salmon each, a gram of a fine Alberta gold in each, and the rest of this is a various from uh, above 20 mesh down to 100 mesh gold. So we're able to quarter each. And so we're just, and what the goal is to see who holds the gold longest and who loses it the fastest, of course. So we got a green mat, we got one of our competitors' leading mats that he claims is the best in the world, we got another new mat from a competitor, and we got an old favorite of a competitor. No, no, I, 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 I can be a nice guy. It's okay to use the style. Um, uh, all right, so we're going to go ahead and dump these under. I'm going to have to score a little off to get it to go, but in, in, but we're not timing to the millisecond. I'll get back to it. But, you know, we're not timing to the millisecond. So, you know, but we let it run for five minutes, and we decide who I'm uh, you know, how, how, uh, how we're doing. Did I get it all? Can you see it all gone? Okay, Frank. Well, you know, that, that always helps when you know what you're doing. You know, thank you, sir, for your help. Okay, so now what the goal is, is, okay, migration is bad. Meaning if it gets to the end of the sluice, then it's going to leave the building like Elvis did. He's gone. He's no longer with us. So... We want to keep the gold up to the top of the sluice as long as possible. So gold, if it makes it to the bottom of the sluice, is bad. Because that's migration, it means you can blow it out. Now, some mats use this, uh, here, let's get, this is on low, this is on low speed. And then we're going to show you, you know, so this would be like if you were finishing. But if you were out there sluicing this trick, this would be your, like, what is going on? Look at the gold down in there. So now, if you were to crick, this would be more what's going on. So I'm just going to sweep this gold off of this wing nut here because the guy who designed this didn't know what he's doing. Yeah, he caught, catches here. up. So, in. So, one of the things that you're not seeing is. I have this little design flaw where the gold hits up at the edge and you can see the gold on this one. Look at the gold. Look at the gold on this one. We'll do the this one. We'll wait till you do this one here. Look at the gold on this one. And this is just a few seconds. We're going to let it work for five minutes. Now we're going to go over here. Nothing happens. So, this is about five years of engineering with fluid dynamics that developed this system. And these guys here developed their systems that I don't know the story behind. Ten but, minutes. No, no, I am not say that. <laughs> um, uh, but you know, this is a, this is actually the leading manufacturing brand out there. It's supposed to be the best of the world. This is another competition map. This is a brand new map that they put out. It's supposed to be the Blizz Bay. This is a good faithful from another competition. And I'm uh, so and this is this, this is my new dream mat. It's been out we've, it's been out for about four years, almost four, three yeah, three and a half years, and I've sold about ten thousand with no advertising, no word of mouth, except for actually this is the only gold show I get. So and we make them in Australia, we sell them in uh, Lisbon, out of them in France, and, and actually this mat, just believe it or not, with no word of mouth, no advertising, or actually anybody somehow you know I mean? showed up on Gold Rush. Here, this last episode of Whitewater. Yeah. I never paid nobody or asked anybody anything. It showed up on Gold Rush Whitewater. The mat did. It was actually one of the bigger mats. 
So, so, see, the streak of migration shows what's going on. Let me swear she's again. No, be, be gentle. Don't push the metal into it. So here's the gold test, and you can see the gold on the caulking seam, which is the fine gold trying to get up over the weir. We have a weir. You see how it's set up. It can go back and over. And you see this fine gold. So this is, of course, the first lane, second lane. And you see the fine gold. This is got the, the beach mat gold, the, the beach sand gold, and the, the, the Alberta fine gold, and the Libby Creek fine gold. You can see it even on this crack right here. You see it even on the surface of the glass. You can see, and here's the, the third run. So, oh, did I say course? Sorry. And then see, we got look at all, look at it all in this one. This one really lost a lot of the fine gold. So, and then we come over to the dream mat side. Now there actually was a little gold in this cell from when we flushed it through, but you can hardly see it now. So, anyways, there's the fine gold losses. So not only do we have the large gold losses. Got a drip here. And then you can see. But we got the fine gold losses, just so you guys can see what's happening there. All right, there's the test. And you know, you saw me move my finger through there, knock some out to help out. I did there, did there. That was already probably already moved down. I didn't even have to. Anyways, just some fun stuff. I figured I'd just show that too. All right, guys, I'm here at the show. I'm doing some testing, and we're doing another run, and we've seen the same results over and over again. Here we got the gold migration. We got the, the, the gold test results coming out the same. I just wanted to speak to these mats and explain what's going on with the fluid dynamics. Here we got the, the flow like a brick over some pencils flowing out. And these got secondary boundary layer, which is a thin layer of fluid that protects this gold as the larger, faster fluid is rushing over like a brick. So the pencil, or the paintbrush, is the pencil that is rolling across the surface of this mat. And it makes these nice little tight vortices and keeps that stuff pinned down as the faster water flows out. But what you're seeing is, which way is the pencil going? Which way do the vortices form? they flow in that direction, in, out of the box. And so does the brick. And this one here does a little bit difference where it has a deeper groove, so the, the vortexes form in these chambers here. But of course, you know, let's spin the brush. We're still gonna be churning in this clockwise, or counterclockwise direction. So it is going and pumping out of here. So this is actually loses the most because this protects it because it's a slick plate and then as it fills in these grooves here we drop out more because it pumps it out and we actually lose the most in that guy these ones that secondary boundary layer kind of pins them down so what we're seeing here with the dream mat is every time it flows gold goes up and gets trapped in up and gets trapped in so we're moving gold upstream as the flow goes down. So we're breaking the back of migration. We're like snapping that pencil in half, standing it on end, twisting it, and going up in there like a hydrocycle. So that's what causes the gold not to migrate because it can't roll out like a pencil. It has to, the pencil gets broken in half, snapped up, spun and goes upstream and gets hit in a black bed of sand. So that's why the fluid dynamics are so radically opposite of what all these traditional mats that have every profile, whether it's high or low, in a what we'd call a perpendicular to flow or a horizontal uh, uh, way. And then this is more of a vertical axis mat. So that's why you're seeing such drastic results difference from the traditional flows to a new concept of spinning it up on top. So anyways, I figured I'd just give that little scientific spiel for you guys who are watching the show online and just let you know that's why we're seeing those results. So give you some noodling to think about. All right, thank you. We ran some real dirt for a guy in our right last here. test. And that one? We got some crushed fine powder. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it now. Oh, we yeah. got some gold in the top. Here, coming here. Down. So very, very fine. We got yeah, our water dirty. So we're going to...
It was like mud, and so we're having a little fun with some people's dirt they asked us to run after they saw the demonstration. So we ran all the material through there, it was like dust, it was like about a gallon of powder. This is the second line we're picking up. We forgot to take a picture of the first line, which was about twice as much that's in the stuffer bottle already. These guys wanted to see if it was tailings or not and if there was gold in it and so we felt they did a pretty good job we found the gold cool